It's Tuesday, June 4th, 2013, and we're going to have a uh, how-to video for you today. Um, it's been a few days since I made a video. Uh, this weekend, I was going to make some, but uh, just busy around the house. Did a lot of things around here. Uh, went to the movies, went to dinner, uh, you know, all that stuff, and uh, didn't get a chance to. So today, we're going to continue on. Um, no fines, obviously. No mailbox fines or anything like that, but... Uh, Again, little how-to video, and uh, hopefully you'll like this, and it'll make your, your life a little easier with customizing. Uh, here is the, uh, the, sh the wagon that I was customizing. Still haven't finished it yet. Still got the primer on there. But if you remember, I wanted to strip the chrome off of uh, the base. Uh, this is a plastic base, so it's obviously chromed, but uh, the original color is obviously not chrome. So I've used a couple products before. I've used Simple Green. And it, it does work. It just takes a while. Uh, have used uh, like Drano or Drain Cleaner. That works pretty well, but it's messy. And as you see right here, we've got Super Clean. Now, I can't take credit for this. I was watching a modeling video, and a gentleman was using this, and uh, worked pretty well. So I decided to give it a try and uh, let you see uh, the results for yourself. But uh, again, this is Hot Wheel focused, but it doesn't necessarily only pertain to Hot Wheels. Um, use it with modeling, anything like that has got chrome on it, chrome plated plastic rather. So um, uh, he was using it in a modeling video, uh, you know, just dechroming some of his parts and, and whatnot, and that, that'll, for styrene, plastic, anything like that it'll work. So I did want to show you a, you know, real time kind of deal. So I've just got this plastic shell that one of my cars came in, and uh, so there's going to be no tricks. I mean, this is chrome, it's not chipped, it's not... I haven't started anything on it, and uh, we'll show you how quickly it does work. Um, you can pour it in, or you could just spray it in. I'm going to go ahead and pour some in there for the sake of the video, make it a little quicker. But you do want to cover the entire piece that you are covering, or trying to dechrome rather. So there we go. That's enough. See, it's purple. I have used purple power and before, and this uh, probably works a little bit better than that even. So, there's your container. Then we'll simply just drop our chrome chassis or base plate in there. Now, you probably don't want to really get this on your hands too much, but I mean, you can a little bit. It's not going to eat your skin alive, but you don't want to. We soak them in there. Again, this is real time. We're not going to stop the camera and wait for it or anything like that. You can see it's already changing. And the good thing is you can actually reuse this. I found if you uh, shake it a little bit, it does make the process a little quicker. Get our needle nose. Now you can leave this in here. Now for plastics, we're probably gonna have to leave it in there longer for like styrene. You can see we still got a little bit on the bottom. And then obviously when you're done, you're gonna wanna wash this off with uh, warm soapy water. And that should probably be enough. Let's pull it back out here. That is just soap right there. Or the bubbles or what have you. So that's from the cleaner. See? It's totally black. No chrome left on it anywhere. And again, with me babbling on and everything, this is a four minute video. Well, four and a half minutes now. But uh, so about two minutes probably. Yeah, there's no, no chrome in any of the cracks. Let's get the, the camera up here. There's the grill, the chrome there. No chrome anywhere. So all we gotta do is wash that with some uh, warm soapy water, and we'll be done. And this, you can see there's really nothing in there. And we can pour that back in the bottle, or we can just leave it in that little container, which I probably will do for more um, dechroming. Put the little uh, 
Again, this is like what one of one of the hundred percent Hot Wheels came in. You can use anything. I just wanted to use this so you can see it real real time. If there no trickery or anything there. So there's that. Hopefully that will not eat through that. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But uh, that's it. So now we have a, a chrome chassis. Probably do a little bit of painting. Uh, I do want the, the bumpers black. I did want them black. So now I don't even have to paint that. But maybe a little grill work. We do have a little tiny piece of chrome right there. And that's it. I could probably scrape that off. Yeah. So there you go. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Hopefully this will, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, super clean. You can get it at uh, just about any automotive store. I got this at Advanced Auto. Um, I believe they sell it at AutoZone as well. Or you can look online. Um, I don't know who makes it. Uh, it's super clean is the name and it is, uh, oh, just supercleanbrands.com, I guess. Yeah, there you go. So. I'm going to use it to degrease the uh, engine of the motorcycle too, since it works this well for this. should work pretty well for that. Anyway, questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.